Hey everybody, I'm back. I got a little time in the afternoon today. So I'm playing the Super Auto Pets test build in case you're wondering why it might look a little different, why, why it's browser based, why it's so smooth. It's because I'm running it in Microsoft Edge. If you haven't seen any of the test build, I'm probably not going to explain too much, but we can learn together. I've only played like three hours total of the test build. Okay. So I'm not an expert. That being said, like I got a lot of 10 pieces for some reason. I'm better at the new stuff, maybe because everybody else is comparatively worse than I am at the old stuff where everybody else has put in a ton of time and I'm unwilling to. Okay, so like 3-2 is okay on stats. I think that a goose can be a difference maker. I don't really like, even though you're a 3-2, if you were a 2-3, I'd be in like Flint here. But as a 3-2, as a I'm not that interested. See, we got a 2-3. And then here's something I like. Hurt, set health equal to attack plus one. I think right now I like this. Then we buy a bulldog next turn. We'll be uh, coming around the mountain when we come. We'll be coming around the mountain when we one, two, three. We'll be, she'll be riding six white horses. She'll be, okay, so, oh, you can't go lower than one attack? Hank! Hold on, I'm still chilling. I'm still chilling. I feel like I do pretty well in the early game in the test build so far. Basically just building out a lot of health. So, how would we do that? I would put a bulldog out here. And then, we don't need an egg which does two damage to an enemy before they attack one time. The reason we don't need an egg is because it counteracts the effects of a goose. We would rather a unit with like, uh, like basically we don't need to kill a unit that has had some of its attack suck out of it, in my opinion. We don't need to kill a unit that has had some of its attack suck out of it, in my opinion. Say what you will about NL, but he's got a way with words. Now, I think when you sell, you give a faint ability unit in the shop, plus one, plus one. So you would become a 3-3 three, three just to begin with, which is better... And then you still have your active effect, which is on faint, spend a trumpet to deal two damage to a random en enemy, which could be a little bit of a difference maker here. Magpie is for saving gold. I, I have had some good uh, economy runs, and sometimes it's due to having like multiple magpies early on, but, but not yet. <clears throat> Hold on. I am a genius. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm a genius. <clears throat> we made it work. There's two. That might be the only two we get, so I'll embrace them. Here's the thing. I'm going to ex... I'm going to accept you. Sometimes, by the way, in the test build, the sound effects are all, like, up and down, okay? So, I, I don't know what causes them to, to fade in and out, and I apologize for the fact that they're doing so. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take my level. On faint, summon a 2-1 Groundhog. Okay, I don't know really what a 2-1 Groundhog would, would do, but um, I'm kind of interested in the idea. Do, you, do we even generate trumpets? Don't we get trump? If we have a trumpet ability, don't we just get trumpets if an if a, a, a ally dies? I don't know if we need a trumpet generator. If we do, then I obviously I've misplayed this pretty drastically early on. Okay, it's an incredibly strong sea urchin. You blew up my whole spot. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, we're going to lose this one. I did not get the effect. So it would be nice. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. It would be nice to get a trumpet generator. On faint, gain three trumpets. Spend one trumpet to do two damage to two random enemies. Okay, I think we got to combine. You need to give us some trumpets. You're not doing that much anymore. I think we're better off maybe even selling you. Having you faint and summon a groundhog. Give the nearest friend a head, plus one, plus one. Am I willing to get rid of my goose? I don't think I am yet. We could have you get plus three experience and then faint, which would then just generate a bunch of trumpets, but I, I don't think we really want the trumpets like right out of the gates. I think we want the trumpets later. Okay, so you would do an advantage for us on, not on level up, but by leveling up, you'll give much more HP to the Tamarind. So I think that's worth it. We'll keep the Tamarind going. We'll try to level you up. Friends summon if in battle, give it an experience and plus one attack. But only in battle. Interesting. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how to make it work. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. But I will say this team, uh, 
The steam doesn't scare me that much yet. Although that that you got a good thing going on there. Don't get me wrong. We you pushed yourself up a little bit. I've done a lot of damage to you, and I'm feeling okay. You're a two-one groundhog, and you're not afraid to show it. Show it. You're uh, marsupial. <laughs> and I, what rodentia? You're a rodent, and you know it. That sounds more like it. Okay, buff, buff. Gain three gold next turn. On faint, gain one gold next turn. I mean, to have the extra gold does seem nice. We don't really need more trumpets right now. Our goose is not doing that much anymore. I think you could kind of like... <sighs> but our goose is like... It could level up. Throw a weasel out there. Hey, you got weasels on your face. That's when I knew it was true love. We ate together. We bathed together. We even shared the same piece of mint-flavored dental floss. The world was our burrito. Anyway, the, the, there's a catch with the weasel. The weasel has to die in order to get the gold next turn. So winning is great, but you want to win by just enough, if possible, so that your weasel still has to faint. Oh, no, we're going to lose. <laughs> but you know what? By losing, we guaranteed ourselves the gold, though, so that's nice. This is what I'm looking for. I'm all off kilter with my levels, but unfriend fainting, gain one trumpet. Maybe it's time that you go and we just try to get a trumpet build going here. What, is it, what do trumpets do? When you have trumpet engines, they generate trumpets. When you have one unit left on your squad, the trumpets will summon a dog, like a Labrador, where attack and health are equal to the number of trumpets. So right now we'd be getting three, then we'd be spending one, so we'd go down to two, but then when you died, we'd get another... Wait, we'd be getting four because of the ant... Listen, I've gone cross-eyed a little bit. Let's... <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's test our math, okay? This... I, I think this is four. We go down to three. Then when you die, we go to five. One for you dying and one for the faint. And then we'd go to seven... And then we go to nine. I think we summon a nine nine dog, but I might be wrong. It might be a five five dog if you don't get one trumpet base just from random units dying. You only get it from the antelope. Okay, guinea fowl on hurt gain more trumpets. I think it's good. I just can't guarantee that you're gonna. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll just sell the weasel. We'll run you in the first position because the goose will make the first enemy weak. And then you might get an extra hurt trigger out of that, generate a few more trumpets, and then we're feeling okay. Before attack, spend two trumpets to give the nearest friend behind plus six health. I see, I see what you're saying here. I do, Jarvis. I do. I hate to say it, man. I'm buying a I'm buying a freaking apple. So now our whole plan is basically try to create a difference-making dog. I'm loving the hurt triggers. And my math is going to be all messed up because I, I did the math and then I bought another unit. But you know what? We got eight out of that. That takes... Okay, so they, we, we don't get one base. You got to actually... You got to generate it. Which I should have known. We got 13. I mean, that's a that's the easiest win of my life right there. That was a good start. So I, I kind of think of the trumpets. They're like the strawberries of this pack. They seem strong, but I don't really know how to use them yet. On faint, gain 50% trumpets. Seems like we could dump a goose, maybe. Pop you out there. We still want you to get stronger. Gain two extra trumpets on faint, okay. There's chocolate in this, in this pack, obviously, so we could still level up, too. Much more easily than we can in some weeklies. I snooze a little bit. I snooze... Just, just a little bit is what I'm snoozing. And then we could, in theory, run two of these. I think I'd rather go for a level two. That being said, without a goose, I don't think that our, our, our guinea fowl does as much for us. Like, it generated six less trumpets for us there. But then we made up for it a little bit right there. We got nine of those. And then when you faint, you're going to generate 50% extra for us. There's going to be 13, 14. Then you're going to... No, because you're going to summon a dog now! And you're going to do just enough to kill me when otherwise I could have... I could have... Ah... Ah, okay, okay. We're figuring out how to run this, though. Some levels would go hard. 
Manatee, I just had a 10 piece with the manatee. Take four damage and give the nearest friend ahead plus two attack, plus two health. So it hurts you in the shop, like it hurts itself in the shop to buff the unit in front. But I think we're doing a little trumpet spam. Lettuce would buff all of our tier fours, of which we have two. I think that's reasonable. And then you call me crazy, man. And if you're crazy, call me twice. I'm buffing you just in the hopes that maybe you could generate more than one hurt trigger, but I am spreading myself kind of thin here. Okay. You got one. <laughs> oh, no. The frog is so dangerous, too. Don't kill me. Don't kill me yet. Stop this. I don't know who... I, I don't know. Maybe that's the best option for who you could have shot, so I'll, I'll respect it. How you doing here? 13. We could draw this. We're going to draw this. Okay, I think we, we got some sustenance, but we could use a, like a, a quantum leap forward. Turn nine, chocolate's unlocked. If I just level up this squad, are they gonna get there? I don't know. Okay, so you're max level. Spend one trumpet to deal two damage to three enemies. I think that's a pretty good value. I think like you and you are not that useful. At the start of battle, give random friends plus one, plus one for every two attack this, health, this has. So this would give out five attack randomly and five health randomly. That seems more valuable than your trumpets. And we got to focus on buffing you if possible. Spend all trumpets and deal it as double damage to one random, en one random enemy. That seems like an interesting thing. Like if you put you at the back line and then spent all your trumpets to nuke hopefully their last unit and then had a banana on top of you. You know what? Hold on. I'm a genius. Put a banana on you to give us more trumpets for you to generate plus 50% on. And then you need to get level 2 next time. You're probably not long for this world. What are you? Friend to head hurt. Give it a melon perk. Don't even get me started on the beluga. I don't think I have the, I don't think I have the mental wherewithal to puzzle it out. This is going to be a big gorilla. 16-16 level 2 gorilla. Not ideal. But we're going to trade for it here. How's the rest of your squad? And they're like better than yours, perhaps? <laughs> they could teach me, but they'd have to charge. Please tell me. Please, 12, 13, 13, 13 versus 12, 12. The banana made all the difference. He's done it. Okay, then you hit level two. We have no buy abilities. We need to buff you. If we find the units that make that possible. None of these are relevant at all. Gain three gold next turn. Okay, I would like you to level up. I would love for you to level up if you can get there. Give the last enemy ink. I'm, by the way, I'm probably very guilty of focusing too much. Lettuce will only buff you. Because we're on tier five shop. It, it, and it'll only buff you next turn. But it's basically as good as an apple right now. So I'm not going to save it. Um... I'm probably too guilty of focusing on just the synergy of the trumpets, but that's the, the like the first step of learning something new is you find one thing that you think works and then you let it ride for a bit and then uh, you go, what the heck, that didn't work that time. I'm never going to do it again. And then eventually after years, you find something in the middle that actually, you know, it works some of the time and some of the time it doesn't. So they had the exact same squad of me, but as me, but uh, just simply a lot better, unfortunately. You level. Man, another boar would have hit the spot. Spend six trumpets to gain the coconut perk. Gain 100% trumpets. I'm honestly feeling... You have to go... But now you're leveling, so I'm just going to level you. <laughs> Otherwise, you're lucky because you were going bye-bye, brother. But I do feel like we might be summoning like a 50-50 dog unless units die to abilities now. They summon, they don't fool, and I'm just, I'm mad on their behalf. You did screw up my team pretty bad with that one, though. Stop that! Maybe, maybe they're not a fool. Maybe I'm the fool. No, I, st oh, I still won. I still won. You can't put the macaw in the front because then it spits, well, I, on a full squad at least, because it spits the gorilla out the, out the dang back. You're not going to have the space for it. Look, you're like literally good, but you're almost like so good that I don't even want you to be on the squad. 
That's just me being real with you, okay? I'm buying you. Just I, again, I'm I'm probably over adhering to the synergy here instead of trying to build a functional squad that can scale into the late game. But sea urchin with the witch's hat kind of threw me for a loop. I'm not taking a bear like willy nilly. I'll take a bear if we have to take a bear because like you know we're getting crapped on by the enemies. Otherwise, I'm I'm happy to let it roll my squad. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay, well, we should have taken a bear. That was not good. We only got six. I know that sounds like BM, but like six, six wins in the test build is a little below par for me lately. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. So if you could generate a trumpet, I'd be stoked. I think a bulldog early is fine. Trumpet generator? Trumpet generator? No? No? Honestly, I think an opossum would just... We just hit the spot here. So the, the tamarind's not doing much for us, but that's okay. Let me be a peculiar pillock. Don't even really know what it means, but it has alliteration. I think our stats are good, and I'm hoping that's going to that's gonna carry us here. It is going to carry us to a draw, so there is that. I would like you to... I would like to find a trumpet generator... Nobody's generating any trumpets for us right now. I'll take a second opossum. And uh, honestly, I guess I'll buff a bulldog. It has more stats, but also that means it gets more stats on every subsequent turn. Kind of, sort of. Not really, but kind of. Oh, this, they, they, got a, they got a combo and a half here, brother. Look at this. Okay. Silk Moth Bulldog was how I got my first 10-piece. I respect it. Ooh, and they gave me my life back. Thank you. I respect it so much, I'm tempted to run the same thing myself, but I'm going to roll. I'm going to try to be a little bit more creative. So that's an econ build. I'm looking for a faint trigger, really. On a, Spend a trumpet to give the first enemy ink. But it's only... You, you, we could make you into a 4-5 or a 5-4. We don't have any trumpets yet. I'm probably throwing too much out here. <laughs> and by probably, I mean definitely. I'm literally rolling myself into oblivion. Okay, hold on. End of turn. Give a random friend from the current shop tier. Plus one attack, plus two health. So it's like literally useless right now because it would only buff a tier two in the shop, which we don't have. Yes. Okay. Um, in that case, I've committed to running four squatted, which is not smart. I'm wondering where my faint triggers are. I have no chance to win this round, I think. I think I have thrown... I should have just bought a cherry. Did I, did I just miss the opportunity to purchase some cherries? Because they their team was not that good. It just happened to be better than mine. We, we could have hung in there. You know what, for now, level me. I get that you have a faint ability. So we could, again, make you into a 5-4. Okay, here's what we could do. You generate two trumpets on death. You join the team. And you can also spit out some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can do some damage at the end because you're a level 2. On faint, gain one trumpet. That doesn't seem that valuable right now either. Now that we finally have trumpet generation. I think this might be the worst team I've ever run. I feel like I'm like three rounds behind the eight ball and the game just started. Okay, so get inked on. That means you do three less damage. You got sniped. Oh no, they're gonna summon a dog and the dog's gonna do it up! <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. I'm, I'm doing horrendous. Tier 3. We have no Tier 3s. What do you do again? Spend 12 gold, give a random friend, plus 1 attack, plus 2 health. Roll me. I gotta find a way out, man. This is not it. That is not it either. Empty front space. If in battle, push your nearest friend ahead to the front and give it some extra health. 
So this works well if we have something that has like friend ahead attacks, which we don't. But it's an interesting idea for the future. Listen, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I have the trumpets. I don't think I do have the trumpets necessary to make this work. I'm in trouble, man! I'm generating, the, my team is, this feels like the worst team I've run in Super Auto Pets at this stage of the game in, in forever. Like the limit does not exist. I already know this one is, we're going down. I, I say that with like a certain sense of authority because they're going to summon a dog. They're about to summon a 4-4. Four, four, oh my god, we're going to draw. I'm stunned that we're still hanging here. We get another chance to bail ourselves out. On faint, summon a groundhog. Okay, so here's what you do. Buy me, sell me. This allows you to buff the Osprey, which becomes a 6-3. Summoning a groundhog means you're also going to get a trumpet out of it. I'm going to freeze a lettuce. We don't really want that. We don't really want that. You're a faint trigger, but we don't really want that. We do want this. We can wait one round for it. Gain trump. Am I, am I really just running another trumpet build? It seems like I'm just running a trumpet build. <laughs> um, in which case... Look, I know how this looks. This also, oh, but we're going to be shop four next time, which means our lettuce is no longer going to be useful. Okay, what, whatever. <sighs> Bizarrely, I feel like this team's a little bit better. Keep in mind, we did only draw last time, so it's not like we were really doing anything that incredible. I like what, I like their little synergy there. That's cute. Had a strong boy up at the front. I'm glad we got one hurt trigger. We're both- Oh! That's a big one! Oh, but you're summoning a freaking huge dog, brother. But I'm hitting you, and then I'm doing two damage to you. And then we're breaking even. After all that, we're breaking even. That was a less inspiring draw than the last one, which scares me, but let's see. On buy, give three random faint friends, plus two, plus one. Okay, I'm gonna try... This, just because at least it is stats. <laughs> um, it's not a lot of them. And honestly, why don't you also... Oh, dude, we got to start building a Makah out here. It's that. But we need the stats to buff him. And we need to run four squatted if we're going to run it. So, Okay, you don't do much. You also don't do much. I think... I think this is our dream, although we, now I realize we don't have enough to make that work. And the Bulldog, I'm not leveling because it has no place to go. Just to get one win, and this is sad, but just to get one win would feel fantastic. Also, the Makah should not be at the back. But this is the, this is the gorilla's time to shine. You can do it. A beautiful two for one. In the future, you'll have a banana on you, so I'm not I'm not too sweaty about that. We're dude, we're getting the dude. You're getting the Dell, and dude, we're getting the win. Okay, one win. You think this is the start of a beautiful friendship? Level two Maka means we have a level two gorilla coming out there asap. It should be maybe set up like this. You should also take a banana, and we want to run four squatted. <laughs> Ah! Okay, so it's going to be like a 16-16 gorilla is going to be in the front position. That's insane. I don't know why. I didn't realize the gorilla also gets the banana. That's... I, I put the banana on the macaw thinking that it was just going to be on the macaw. So that's like... There's some positivity there. But do you see the value? Do you see the value? Do you see what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps? What a dub. Okay, now we can focus on building the rest of our squad. Before attack, gain a gold. Works up to three times per turn. On faint, give the last enemy ink. You know you need this. We know that this, at the very least, is is four stat points, eight stat points for everybody. Push opposite enemy one space forward on start of battle. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. I don't know what that means for me. Obviously, we have to sell you. I don't know. 
Honestly, like I, I'm just being real with you. I don't know. I, what would you do? I think I would roll for a better unit. Nothing here inspires me. We're, we're, you know, you're kind of built for a trumpet run, I guess. Friend ahead hurt doesn't really work for us. This works for us. Don't watch it. We don't watch it. So I'm, I'm leaning heavily on the, on the macaw, but I don't know. Thanks for the coconut. Um. I, I don't know how to elevate the rest of our squad to the level that I personally think it needs to be at. But also, maybe we don't need that much more. The re I mean, literally, we would have won like the last two rounds with just this one unit. So, I think you can go and we'll... Are we really doing this to summon like a, a very slightly better dog? Level 3 Macaw seems like a better play than getting to a level 2 Antelope ASAP. And we're going to get there next turn anyway. Like, a, a real scaler would hit the spot. On faint, gain 50% extra trumpets? Would I be willing to, to dump the tamer in to fit that, to get the... Yeah, I think I would be. And maybe now we're straddling two different functional synergies. We got the... We're going to have a level 3 gorilla at the start of battle, which, if the numbers work out right, can go insane. And then we'll also have the ability to summon like a pretty good dog. Like a like a pretty not a not the best dog you're gonna see at this stage of the game, but pretty good considering we only started building into it like a turn ago. So this is necessary. Actually, I think there's there's no doubt in my mind. We have to try to build um, the bird of paradise. It so easily allows you to scale everybody on your whole team. And we have the HP necessary to make it work, I think. So I think I would sell you, buy you. We need to spend five more gold. I, we can't not spend five more gold. So there's enough right there. And then we might as well. I think we can still get a, a reasonable four, six, four, four. This is good, actually. I think it's pretty reasonable for us to still get like a half decent dog out there at the end. But it's really, we're, we're going to live or die with how the gorilla strats work. I feel like the slug kind of counters us because we're wasting all of our coconut armor dealing with units that are like, you know, nothing. Or, or maybe not. Maybe it's not that bad. That's pretty annoying, though. They, this is quite a team they got here. Our gorillas still did, did, like, some insane work for us, though. I think we... I don't think there's any shot we don't gotcha. Still send out a 14-14 dog at the end. This is one of the all-time, like, insane turnarounds. I'm not saying, by the way, and this is spend three gold, get three gold back. Ooh, four gold back. <laughs> That's a little greasy for your bird of paradise. Why don't we buff, uh, why don't we buff you? I don't know. Just, just cause we can. If there's an empty space, gain plus two gold next turn. Listen, I understand how this could, it would remove our dog synergy. On the other hand, it, it makes the bird of paradise so much better. I think I gotta give it a shot, man. And then how much gold do you need to level? Six. All right, I would, I would not buy, sell. I would just buy. Not, not impressed. Not that impressed. The gazelle could kind of go off, maybe. Anyway, this would be one of the all-time sap turnarounds. If we went from, I would be happy to get uh, one victory here to all of a sudden getting a 10-piece, like that, that would be an all-timer. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Look. Chocolate on our bird of paradise is a big one for us too. But first, any gold you spend is good. When hurt, gain 15 health once. Unfortunately, we don't really want to put it on you. Your banana's doing great. Deal 8 damage to the last enemy before attacking once. I still don't see it doing it for us. We're looking for buy triggers. More bananas is not necessarily a bad thing either. 
Chocolate is important. This is uh, of the utmost importance. What's your, what is your payout here? We need to spend five more. The math is not going to work out for us to, to get a double buff, I think, and that's okay. Let's, let's toss another, um, another pretzel on you so you get four, four. And then I'm, I'm still feeling good, man. I'm still the, the level three gorilla out there. What is he? He's a 24, 24. Okay, this is like the first team that sort of scared me. <laughs> but I don't know if I need to be that scared yet. But you can see how like, oh. I was gonna say you can see how a huge dog would trip me up a little bit here, but this is a, this is a big enough dog. I think we, we, we win these. We win these. I don't believe it. The dog came in and said, Hey, you, you, you didn't need me for so long? Well, guess what? I'm still here anyway. That's, it's so respectable. I do think you could take a potato just to not be sniped or have a lower chance to be sniped. And no buying abilities. Come on. Come, come on. I guess I could give you a banana. I'd rather, I'd rather roll for chocolate, though. Or another bird. And then buy the chocolate next round. Or buy the banana next round, I should say. We, I just can't. I mean, it would be nice to try to build into you. Don't get me wrong. I still feel like maybe the bird of paradise. We needed like a little bit more econ to get it to like pop off to the degree I wanted. Thank God. The math. What did you spit? Did you just spit out like a thousand pigs? No, no, dude. We're about to get bared. I see you coming. But we're gonna no, we can't win this one. This one, this one's uh we're out. For that reason, I'm out. We're not off by like a ton, but we're off by enough. I'm telling you, this bear is like is, is a smothering part of the meta right now. Sometimes we sorry, somehow I should say we still have two lives left. I'm going sicko mode. I'm going crazy mode. Let's get the Manta leveled so we generate even more gold. Forget the bear. I, it's, it's just not the way I want to live my life. Everybody gets a 2-2 buff. We only need to spend 4 next turn to get you there. You're giving us 4 for free. I am starting to feel like we might be falling off a little bit. No! Okay, it's only a level 1 bear. Everybody's running the freaking uh, bear, uh, bear wolf strats. Sorry, we're st still sitting pretty. A lot of attacks to go until the bear goes again. And he's only a level one. That's so disrespectful. You had the audacity to get killed by my banana. What are you, scurvy? It's, I know scurvy's like a potassium thing. Or it's a, a vitamin C thing. I don't know if the scurvy is really related to bananas, but it seemed like the joke made a little sense. Oh, baby. On buy, give faint friends some support. We have friend faints. We don't have faint friends. It's okay. It's okay. Just looking for buy triggers. And units we already got. Even just rolling feels good. You're a buy trigger. We're going to be spending the money anyway. We might as well get some value out of it. What do we need out of you? Three more? Oh, we're going to get Oh, we're going to get it. <laughs> Yes, everybody gets a little buffed. Roll me. Roll me. Damn, I pass my turn. The rest of the squad is not looking that bad anymore. Hopefully. But I'm hoping that we're still progressing faster than the average enemy we're going up against. Oh no, my, my coconut math is not as good as it used to be. Level 2 deer. I forget what this shark even does. It, it took a dang shot at me with its tomato. It killed my whole squad with uh, in a single bound. I've summoned three. I've summoned three monkeys. We're gonna get the win, dude. I think there's a very realistic chance we get the ten piece. I can't believe we fought back on round seventeen. On by, ooh, <laughs> I thank you. I'll sell you. I'm um, bye. Ooh, I thank you. I'll sell you. More. More. 
more. Unsell? No, that's not what we're looking for there. Come on. Ah, come on. Okay, as as is, not that impressed, but you know what? That's pretty good. What do we Oh, another buff already? Is it my birthday? We're gonna start running into some some seriously scary teams. Oh no, they've got their own gorilla. Wait, we match up very favorably, but I'm I'm getting sniped like crazy. Oh, never it was totally fine. It was so anticlimactic. Hey, thanks for watching. I can't believe we pulled out a 10 piece when I thought we were gonna get zero. If you enjoyed yourself, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!